Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Starting with Word 2013, you can insert a repeating section content control into your forms. This control, into which you can insert the other types of controls and which can also be inserted around rows in a table, allows the user to add repeating sections of information to a form. This can be useful when you want to collect a variable number of responses from each user. For example, if you wanted to create a vehicle insurance quote form that allowed the user to input the make, model, and year of each vehicle that they wanted to insure, you could do that. Since the number of vehicles would vary for each user, you could enter the three text fields of make, model, and year within a repeating section content control to allow the user to input that information as many times as needed to enter all their vehicles. You insert the control by selecting the area in the form you want to enclose within the repeating content control. You can select a row from an underlying table within the form if desired. Then simply click the Repeating Section Content Control button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon to insert the control around the selected section. You can then click the control to select it, and then click the Properties button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon to set the properties of the control within the Content Control Properties dialog box. This control has the same default properties as the other types of controls within Word, and it also has its own unique properties shown within the Repeating Section Properties area of the dialog box. Here you can ensure that there is a check mark in the Allow Users to Add and Remove Sections checkbox to let users add and remove these sections within your form. You can then enter the title that you want to give to the repeating section into the Section Title text box, and then click the OK button to finish setting its properties. You can then click into the area within the control to insert any other controls that you want to have repeat within this section when a new section is added to the form by the user. When the users are entering data into the controls within this form, they can click the small plus sign that appears at the right end of the repeating section content control to add a new copy of the controls contained in the repeating content section to the form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.